The Fiat 500 was introduced way back in July 1957 to replace the Topolino, and after Sofia Loren, it became one of Italy's greatest successes. I absolutely love the Fiat 500. I mean, I've always driven small cars such as minis myself, but I always hankered after a Fiat 500. I think they're just one of those things, the British public loves small cars, small, cute, cheeky cars, and how can you not love that one? The 500 was the first Fiat to have an air-cooled engine, a 479cc unit producing a massive 13-brake horsepower. It also had a four-speed gearbox. Fiat had high hopes for the car, but sales were initially disappointing. Pedestrians, they don't see, see them very often, so they stop and watch. Motorists, that they're a lot friendlier towards you. They, like if you pull up at a junction, the, a, the car might stop and let you out just so he can have a look at your car for a bit longer. So he'll let you go in front of him so he can have a look. What really changed their fortunes though was the 500's foray into motorsport. In 1958, the sport version was introduced and in its first year, it finished first, second and third at the Hockenheim 12 hour race. The 500 baby boom had really started. The Fiat 500 never became hugely popular in the UK, um, simply because Fiat didn't bring that many in. Um, it, it was hugely popular, obviously, in Italy, um, where it just packed the streets. And uh, Italian towns had narrow, you know, medieval streets, and uh, you needed small cars. And the Italian nation wasn't very rich um, immediately after the war and into the 50s and 60s so they needed economy motoring and the Fiat 500 just supplied it in spades. Between 1958 and 1975 more than three and a half million cars were sold and almost 20 years on now many are still on the road.